Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another video for y'all. And this video is like a knowledge video. I, this is a video that mainly goes out to my fellow music artists and also YouTubers too. Because when it comes down to being a creator, being a music artist, like, you know what I mean? Criticism is a part of being a creator and it's definitely a part of being a music artist. But I'm just here to let you know something, and, and, I, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you already know this, but some people just get lost and they get confused. When it comes down to criticism and when it comes down to constructive criticism, there is a difference. Criticism and constructive criticism is not necessarily the same thing. I mean, criticism, I mean, we've all been criticized. Criticism is when you're just pretty much being like brutally like on you you know you're just being brutally like outspoken to the point where you're not really like telling them like stuff to try to help the person to get better at what they're trying to get better at i mean when it comes down to sports yo your coach coaches criticize your coach is gonna criticize you you know your coach is gonna yell at you your coach is gonna scream at you but it's only for you to get better. But you see, when it comes down to just be living life on a regular basis, like as a music artist, like you may have somebody that may say something rude and hateful about your new song to the point where they're just, you know, like being a hater. And, and, and just like when it comes down to critics, when it comes down to the music industry, music artists... That's what that's what critics do. That's what they do for a living. They get paid to criticize. They they make these magazines, they make these articles about a certain artist, about a certain celebrity. They may say that this is a singer that can't sing. They may say that this is an artist. They may say that this is a rapper that can't rap. All types of stuff. They may say that this is like the worst rapper ever. All types of stuff, but yeah, when it comes down to the critics, that's what they do. You know, they get paid to criticize. But constructive criticism is when you're trying to help someone. You tell them, you tell them like the strength and you tell them the weakness. That, 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 that's what you do when it comes down to constructive criticism. Like, you know, you tell them the weakness on what they need to work on. And then you also tell them the strength of what they did good on, what they did great at. But when it comes down to the weakness, constructive criticism, you're really just trying to assist them. You're, you're, you're trying to help them, get, get, give, them it, give them the information so they can get better at that. You know what I mean? Because when it comes down to criticism, if you just want to be negative and be rude and just completely say that this song is horrible, this, that. Because just like... um. On that um episode of of Everyday Struggle, this is back when Eminem had came out with with a hit song from his revival album Untouchable, and Joe Budden was saying that this song was a very trash song. And Joe Budden, he's brutally honest. Like like Joe Budden is is very outspoken. Like Joe Budden, Joe Budden is something else. I mean, sometimes Joe Budden he can be a dickhead, but. I mean, Joe Budden, he was just giving his opinion. But you see, what Joe Budden was doing about Eminem's song, Untouchable, what Joe Budden was doing, that's criticism, not constructive criticism. What Joe Budden was doing was criticism. And, yeah, see, and, and, and there was a lot of people that didn't really like Eminem's revival album. Now, me personally, I feel that Eminem's revival album was an okay album, but compared to Kamikaze, in my book, in my opinion, Kamikaze is, a, is, a, is much more better. Kamikaze is 10 times better than, than Revival. Like, Kamikaze is the album where Eminem redeemed himself. And same thing with Lupe Fiasco. Lupe Fiasco, his album, Drogas Light. I mean, that album is an okay album, in my opinion. But compared to Drogas Wave and compared to... To his um new album, Dro Music and Zion, both of those albums are way better than Dro Got Slight. But yeah, see, there's a difference between 
criticism and there's a difference between constructive criticism when you like with, with constructive criticism you let them know about the strength and you also let them know about the weakness and you give them you give them the advice and you give them the information to help them out on what they need to do in order to work on the weakness in order to get better at it so they can be great you know what i mean as a music artist, when you go into the booth, when you go into, when you in the studio, when you go in the booth and you come out of the booth, your per, your producer, your engineer may may say that's not it. You gotta go back in and you gotta do it again. You know what I mean? Or your engineer may say that you're almost there. But see, you gotta be around. You gotta have people around you that want to see you win. You gotta have people people around you that are gonna like bring the best out of you. You know, you got to get those yes men away from you. But, you know, ha have people around you that are going to give you constructive criticism that are going to that are going to that are going to let you know about the strength and the weakness and what you need to do in order to fix the weakness so it can become a strength. Yeah, I mean, don't be good. Be great. Always strive for greatness. But yeah, I just wanted to chat with y'all, give y'all some knowledge. And again, a, a lot of y'all already know this, but some people, when it comes down to somebody just wanting to be a hater, sometimes they get confused thinking that thinking that they're doing constructive criticism. No, you doing criticism, not constructive criticism. There's a difference. But yeah, I just wanted to share this video with y'all, chat with y'all. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video. And again, my new track, I'm Gonna Win, it's on my YouTube channel and it's also on my SoundCloud. You can follow me on SoundCloud at Wally G. Let's run it up. Let's blow it up. Love y'all.